Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you could automate your Shopify collections to maximize sales, increase conversion rate, and put more money in your pocket. We'll jump right into it. This is by far the best way to handle collection pages. This is exactly the right way to handle collections and sorting. And the way that you sort your pr uh, product collections is super, super important. It might not seem like the you know biggest thing. It might not seem like the most important topic or the sexiest topic, but super, super important, super valuable, and can significantly affect your profits. And big stores, big brands, they're constantly optimizing and rearranging their collection pages. They're trying different sort methods. They're showing different products on top. Lots of different ways and combinations to kind of say, okay, what's going to make me the most money? And a really popular strategy for Shopify store owners is to use the SortWise Collection Sort Shopify app. It's going to allow you to automate sorting collections. It's going to automate maximizing more sales. You're going to get the most out of your collection pages through automatic sorting. And I'll show you exactly how this works as we go over the shoulder. If you want to implement this strategy, you're definitely going to run into some pain points because there's no built-in way to do this with Shopify. You need to use an app and the app must be super, super easy to use and require no prior technological experience. You don't need to be a Shopify coder or a programmer or anything like that to get this up and running super, super quickly. But most importantly, the app must do all the work for you. The app must automatically update collections and provide analytics on results to basically say, okay, this is how we sorted it this way and this is what worked. And uh, having that combination of the automation and the analytics makes it very, very easy for you. You just go ahead and look at the reports and you see exactly what works the best for your brand. And you could do all of this with SortWise. Highly, highly recommended. You see the link directly below this video. We're gonna go over the shoulder. I'm gonna show you the SortWise app. You see it right here. SortWise collection sort right inside of the Shopify app store. Incredible pricing. There's a free plan available. This is gonna allow you to automate sorting collections and it's going to simply maximize sales. You could skip all the manual work of going in there and changing products one by one or turning products off or moving products around. All of this automation with your merchandising and the analytics that go along with it as well to make sure that you're not only finding out the best combinations, but you're able to see the exact stats on them as well. Really easy to use dashboard and uh, here's some of the app screens over here, but I'm gonna show you as we go over the shoulder in one of my stores exactly how this can work. And there's different filters and different kind of tools that we can go over here in terms of things or actions like pushing down out of stock products, pushing down out of stock products that are able to be continued to be sold when out of stock. You see that option on the Shopify product page, right? All of these different settings here, select when to sort, you know, so you can literally pick which days you want the sort to sync, when it can go in terms of hours, how many products in terms of a numeric limit. Really, they've thought of everything over here. You get your smart sort and your AI rank here, and you could literally just kind of go through here and change the toggles to have different combinations and uh, really just let it automate itself and do everything that you'd be doing manually right inside of this one app. And, you know, the results speak for themselves. You're going to find the best combination of your product sorting. You're going to get the right products in front of the right people. And all you need to do to get this installed in your store, click the link below this video and hit the install button. Really, really powerful here in terms of the pricing. Totally free plan for up to 10 collections, up to 500 orders a month, up to 10,000 products. It's a complete no brainer to install SortWise. You know, once you get over here in terms of some of the bigger numbers and bigger orders, they still have really great pricing. But for most of you, you're gonna be able to get this installed and use it for up to 500 orders a month for free. So again, link directly below this video. You press the install button. This is gonna set up SortWise. We're gonna go over step-by-step step so you can follow along. So this brings us back into our Shopify store where we uh, simply press install again. And this makes the connection between SortWise and our store. No code needed, nothing technical or anything like that. Just press install a couple times. And uh, then it's gonna bring us into our dashboard. This is gonna be kind of where we set everything up it's also going to be where you see your stats. You see over here, of course, we just installed this, but you can see your last 30 days, last 14, last seven days over here in terms of what's going on, how many times it's sorted, how many products were sorted, how many orders you made based on all this. It's really great to kind of understand and see, and this 
hovering over the eye. It gives you a little bit more information about everything. Now we got a little onboarding here. I'll walk you through exactly how to set this up. There's really only a couple of steps to do, uh, get all this done. Number one, we need to enable sorting, advanced sorting on your collections. This is just going to be a simple toggle. So we'll click here, enable sorting. We can select which categories we want to enable for sorting. I'm going to enable all of them. We'll come over here, actions, and enable sorting. So you see those all get turned on, and uh, let's say you wanted to turn something off. You could just toggle this just like that to disable it, and uh, really up to you. And you have these different sections over here to show you what's enabled and what's disabled. So, uh, of course, that's step one in terms of enable sorting. You could always get back to it over here under the collections area. So step two, explore sorting strategies. And this is kind of the cool thing that uh, right happens out of the box, all the different ways that SortWise can, uh, can sort. And you see that there are different options for you to choose. And basically they are self-explanatory. The cool part about these is that they are kind of done for you and ready to go. But you could also create your own strategies using different logic and all the flexible ways that SortWise can uh, work for you under create new strategy, but these are ready to go right now. And what we're going to do over here is highlight new arrivals and high inventory. In fact, uh, if we come over here to edit, you can come down over here and uh, really control and customize everything. This is also what would happen if you create a new strategy where you give it a title and a description. And basically you have all these different variables, different attributes, different ways to sort groups. And, uh, you know, it's really easy to do all this, and you can get super, super complex, right? The way I have it set up, it just sorts all the categories. But maybe you want to have just one specific category sort by new arrivals, and then create rules for other categories as well. You could sort them in any way that you want when you create these uh, specific sorting groups. So you see, this is how what, what we have, uh, you know, kind of um, right now. And it's really about meeting your goals, right? Do you have a lot of new arrivals. Do you typically want to sell your new arrivals quickly? Well, if you do, this is a great strategy. All right? But maybe you're trying to get rid of some stock. Come over here, showcase deeply discounted clearance items. All right? So this is kind of an easy way to get rid of items that are maybe sitting in your warehouse or maybe items that you want to kind of stop selling and you want to get rid of your current stock. A really popular one, in my opinion, is new and high revenue products. Right? It might not be the most popular product sold, but it might be a high ticket product that makes you a lot of money. High revenue products, very valuable because instead of looking at, you know, kind of what sells the most, we're looking at what makes you the most money. And I know that speaks to a lot of different entrepreneurs here where we can turn this on and set different collections to be this one. But I think kind of just out of the box, this is the best one to start with. It really focuses not only on your new arrivals, but also products that you might have a lot of inventory on. But to also remember, of course, you could always create your own new strategy and create all of these different product groups here to uh, really dial down everything and create the perfect sort. So we have uh, enabled sorting. We have sorting strategies. We have some global settings over here. So we'll come over to settings and uh, really we can go over here to enable sorting for new collections. Let's say we create a new collection in a couple weeks. We could have the rules apply to that as well. We could have different days that are running, uh, you know, maybe you don't want to sort on uh, Saturday and Sunday. Maybe those are your slow days or maybe vice versa. You want to sort on your slow days, really up to you. We could integrate product reviews. Pretty much all the popular ones are here. One click integrations there as well. Different look back periods and uh, you can create different look back periods yourself here if you have different timelines. Uh, okay, we'll save this over here, of course. We've got different meta fields that you can create. You can get really advanced here with SortWise, and you'll be able to see your plan and your billing right over here in the billing section. Shout out to their knowledge base and support as well. Always available, highly recommended. But uh, that kind of is the main things that we're doing here. What you want to do is start thinking about what strategies make sense. Definitely follow step by step, get this started, put all your collections on the highlight new arrivals and high inventory. But then I want you to start thinking, you know, what are my business goals? right? What are the ways that I want to feature products? Right? Maybe you just want to go and dial, you know, I'm going to double down on my, on my winners. Okay. Feature the top 10 by units sold. So what has sold the most number of times? You could sort that way, right? It's a very popular way to sort. The bottom line is you can sort however you want with SortWise. So that was SortWise. And uh, as you saw, very, very powerful. 
also very easy to use. So able to jump into it really, really quickly, really easily. Again, you saw that really, really awesome uh, kind of no-brainer pricing over here for you to install SortWise in your store and uh, let it start automating your sorting of collections and making you more money. If you have any questions whatsoever, make sure you leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer each and every single one of them personally. Otherwise, I hope SortWise uh, makes you a ton of money and I'll talk to you real soon. Thanks a lot.